It is now time for semi-final number two for 3BL Season 3 Conference A League matches. And this one is going to be a knockout because the team winning will meet Gurugram Masters in the finals. The second semi-final for today is between Mumbai Heroes and Bangalore Machas. Bringing out team Mumbai Heroes as I announce the players' names. Starting off with Carlos Martinez, followed by Sejin Matthew, Siddhant Shinde, and Sunil Rati. That is Mumbai Heroes playing their semi-final number two. And playing against Mumbai Heroes in the second semi-final for today, Team Bangalore Macha, starting with Arvind Arumugam, Anil Kumar, Shashank Rai, and Himanshu Sharma. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for the second semi final teams Mumbai Heroes versus Bangalore Macha. Alright, it's time for the toss for the semi final number two. Captain of Mumbai Heroes and Captain of Bangalore Macha, please come forward. Can I have the captain for the toss, please? It's a very important toss for you. Good luck for the semi-final. Who's going to call? Bangalore Macha, this is heads, this is tails. Bangalore Macha is going to make the call. Tail is the call. And tail it is. Bangalore Macha has won the toss. They will take the ball. This is semi-final number two. Guru Gram Masters are going to be watching this one close. Back to your point. And that is going to be the start of the second semi-final. Mumbai Heroes versus Bangalore Machas. Bangalore Machas in the orange jerseys and uh, Mumbai Heroes in the black jerseys. Who we can see is the Spaniard Carlos Martinez on screen. And he's had a good run so far, making his presence felt in this tournament early on. Anil Kumar for Bangalore Machas. Shashank Rai has been in fine nick, playing ag aggressively as uh, with Arvind Armogam for the Bangalore Machas. Sejin Matthew had a good start as well, doing whatever it takes. But will he be able to hold his own against the big guy? Arvind Armogam in the paint is what that remains to be seen. Arvind is a seasoned hand under the basket and Sejin is an upcoming Youngster and Sejin does have a great future indeed. But today, who is going to battle it out under the paint and who is going to come out on top and make sure that they meet Gurugram Masters or waiting for them in the final remains to be seen. Some of them are first timers playing the three X3 type of event, type of basketball, but we can see that the adjustment is going to take a little bit longer than expected. But Having been seasoned players themselves, the adjustment itself shouldn't be too long to take. Carlos Martinez is an experienced hand and uh, his presence in his team should give them a lot of experience and uh, a lot of wisdom is being shared, especially in the breakfast and dinner tables among these teams a lot of bonding that's been happening between the young ones and the veterans and the foreign players that have come so it's been a great exchange of ideas a lot of exchange about skills knowledge and a lot of workouts being shared and uh, training regiments being exchanged as well so this is one brotherhood here that you can see and this is the spirit of the game in its best and 3BL has facilitated that not just for our players but also for our women players as well and uh, once more wishing you all an international happy international women's day and that is the start of the second semi-final off the glass was a quick off the glass was Anil to grab a point and put their scoreboard ticking Anil Kumar with that first point and very quickly the Machas have managed to foul and put Siddhant Shinde on the line for a free throw. And uh, will Siddhant be able to answer back with another point? And that he does. A very neat finish there. One apiece. Barely 12 seconds in. That's Shashank Rai. Slightly short there. He tried to hook it in in a reverse layup. But that was not sufficient. But this time it is Mumbai Heroes ball. Martinez drops it to Sejin. Uncontested Sejin with a double-handed slam. Puts it in. 
very emphatic. But check ball here. Shashank tries to beat Martinez, even though Martinez did jump and almost lost Shashank there. He was quick to recover and contest him. A foul each. Arvind with the ball. Anil spotting up for a two and he makes it. Anil seems to have hot hands for the Machas right now. All three points have come off his a two and one off the glass. And rebounding there is Arvind for his team. Kicks it out. No one there. He did expect someone to come on top there. But Shashank was out in the flank and Arvind was stuck inside the paint. Martinez unchallenged. But he misses it. Anil with the rebound. Takes it to the top of the key. Shashank spots up for a two. Hits a front rim. Siddhant back out to Rati. Arvind spin moves, takes it to the hoop, makes it off the glass from the reverse side, hooks it almost. Bangalore Machas have an early lead, four is to two. Eight minutes 30 on the clock. One foul each. Mumbai Heroes trailing. Yet to find their rhythm. Sadan Shinde finds it a little too short. Ball is out of bounds. It's going to be Macha's ball once more. And coming in place of Anil is Himan Shu. Don't let his jersey fool you. Shashank Rai trying to force his way in, but standing his ground is Sunil Rati. Great defensive efforts by Mumbai heroes trying to contain Shashank Rai, who's aggressive and knows how to hustle his way and take it to the basket. Eight minutes, 16 on the clock. Such delays are much awaited breathers, especially in a very, very tough game like 3x3 ball. Check ball gone crazy. Arvind Armugam with the ball back to Shashank. Shashank tries to beat him, takes it inside. Shashank will sit out a bit. Anil has come in place. Carlos Martinez with the ball taking it to the hope. A nice sweet touch converts it. Lovely touch there. Very measured. Sank that one. Drew a foul in the process. This is an and one. Much welcome for the heroes at this point in time. Because they are trailing by one. And this would mean they would level scores. That he does very smoothly. Carlos Martinez. Himanshu. Out to Anil. Anil with the... Fade away, making it. Carlos Martinez spots up for a two. It's a front rim. Himanshu with the rebound tries to find the open man in Arvind. Arvind challenged, but yes, manages to make it over. Carlos. Arvind very effective in the paint, doing what it takes for his team. Quick pass out by Arvind. And that would be Himanshu trying to quickly force a two there. Drawing a foul in the process. Making that shot and one. So this might be a chance for a three-point play. Himanshu. 
Yes, makes it three points to Himanshu. Quick succession indeed. A quick thinking pass there by Arvind kicking it out to open man Himanshu. But this time Sunil Ratti tries to spot up for a two. Rebounded by Arvind. Arvind to Himanshu. Oh yes, behind the ball. Behind the back pass. Beautiful pass there. A sweet, sweet assist. What a pass and a good finish there by Arvind. And yes, Carlos Martinez draws a foul, makes a basket. It's an and one situation again. Flurry of fouls is making sure those points are being added to their scoreboards. Seven minutes and one second remain on the clock. Mumbai heroes are trailing by five. Himanshu with a beautiful behind the back pass to Arvind Armugam. Arvind Armugam already has quite a few points to his credit. And Himanshu, the quick three point play that he made off of a quick thinking pass by Arvind ensured that they got to where they are right now. Exciting to watch. Right now, Mumbai is struggling a bit. Carlos Martinez in fine nick. Now will have an opportunity for an and one play. Arvind Armugam sinking that one. A free throw for Martinez. Makes that one. Two-point play for Martinez. Drops it to Arvind. Arvind tries to go up against Sejin. Sejin not quite the match for Arvind. Arvind goes right around and makes that shot off the glass. Martinez penetrating inside. Kicks it out to Sejin who is waiting on the sidelines for a two. But Sejin is not able to make it. Arvind is there for a rebound. Back to Anil. Anil not making it. Rebounded by Martinez. Martinez being hustled by Arvind. Arvind getting a piece of that ball and the ball is out of bounds. Great defensive efforts by Arvind Armugam. Spotting up for a two. Hits a front rim. Himanshu is there to pick it up for the Machas. Himanshu finding Arvind but Martinez is there to quickly Come around and get hold of that possession. But he goes all around Arvind and makes that one finger roll. But Himanshu is there to try to return it with the two. But he doesn't make it. Passing Ar to Arvind again. Finding the open man. Beautiful pass. What a sweet combination this is turning out to be. This time Martinez to Sejin. Sejin to Martinez. That extra pass is what got them that extra point. What a sweet flurry of points out here. Exciting basketball. This is what it should be like, folks. And I hope you're enjoying it as much as we're enjoying it. This is going to be Bangalore Machas ball. They're just leading by four points. Five minutes, 55 on the clock. And Arvind is spotting up for a two. No, it's way short. Siddhan Shinde takes it all around, wraps it up. And no, he's not able to tie the bow over it. Siddhant, a second opportunity for him and this time he makes sure he gets a two instead of one. So that was sweet. Anil, mismatch there, manages to take it all the way to the hoop but he's not able to finish. But Shashank Rai is there trying to put it inside. He's challenged by Rati and draws a foul in the process. A little frustrating, a couple of opportunities for Shashank to make that one but he was challenged entirely over there. Siddhant. Not happy with the call and has a few words with the referee. Shashank Rai on the line for a free throw. Makes it count. Bangalore Machas adding another point to their tally. 13 to 10. Sunil Rati back to Siddhan Shinde. Shinde for a two. Martinez is trying to rebound. Rai has the ball. Rai back to Himanshu. Himanshu. Jersey being pulled. So it is going to be a foul, is it? Martinez. 
has conceded that foul. So the heroes have picked up four fouls and Machas have three. Rai with the ball. Calls for a screen but goes the other way and he's being... He's drawn another foul. So the heroes are unable to contain their fouls at this point in time. Very quick to give away those fouls. They could land themselves in foul trouble because they have just one more team foul to give before they go into the two free throw segment. Shashank Rai unable to make it. Arvind is not able to grab the rebound. But Himanshu is quick to pick one up. Goes around Sejin. Tries to find the open gaps. But Sejin is there to reject it. Three-point difference, Himanshu, that was Sejin with the rejection. But it's more of a foul, so that means Himanshu is going to go through the free throws. And this, by the way, is the sixth foul for Heroes. And Himanshu makes the best of it, adds another point to his tally. But any foul henceforth is going to result in two free throws. Sejin carrying it all the way to the hoop, sinks it. Arvind concedes that foul, Sejin will have an opportunity to make it an and one and add another point to his team total. They now have 11 points and this is Sejin's opportunity to take it up by another. Missing that one and the ball being tipped to Anil. And Himanshu unchallenged, takes it to the hoop, makes it count, takes it away by another point and the score is now four point difference. But in return, Siddhan Shinde shreds the nets with another two of his own. He keeps doing this at regular intervals and they can definitely have a ball game and a half. Siddhan stepping up unchallenged again. But no, he's waiting for the... A little too late. He did have his opening but the rhythm was off. Drops it to Arvind. Arvind tries to take it through past Sejin. Sejin is there trying to contest but Arvind has a better of him. Off the glass. Siddhan in return for a two. Martinez is there to pick it up but he's not able to convert. Sejin... For a redemption shot, but he draws a foul. The shot won't go in, but that foul will give him an opportunity to go to the free throw line. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Can Sejin make this? If he makes it, he'd make it a one possession game. Three minutes, 58 on the clock. Trailing by three is Mumbai Heroes. Bangalore Machas. Finding their rhythm and patches. Anil. Sunil Rati is tight and uh, that's Carlos Martinez with a foul and this is something that we have seen Martinez do conceding quite a few fouls. So this means that Anil is going to go to the free throw line with two free throws. A quick timeout is being called 3 minutes 49 on the clock and a three point difference separates these two Bangalore Machas having the upper hand. Quick discussions, a much needed break. You can see the exhaustion on their faces. Bangalore Macha seem quite winded. Sadan Shinde being quite animated while he discusses it. Sejin is at the receiving end right now from Sadan Shinde, telling him what to do and what is required over there. Shashank is far more relaxed, as is Arvind. Himanshu had a stellar performance inside when he came in because he initiated a few moves that quickly added several points to the scoreboard and that was invaluable. Those assists and those passes, especially between him and Arvind Armogam, made sure that they got those quick points on the board and the lead as well. So this is not something that Anil should be looking at wasting. Those, these free throws are very, very expensive right now and he should look at converting them. Makes one of two. Makes a second one as well. So, Machas 
are leading considerably by five points and forcing the shot is Sunil Ratti, rebounded by Shashank Rai, who pulls it down, back to Shashank. That's Arvind and Shashank with a piece of their own magic there. Shashank managing to put a tough but easy shot for him. Sejin takes it to the hoop with a nice finger roll of his own in reply. Anil setting up, trying to go past Sejin. But he stopped his dribble. It's a dead ball. Back out to Shashank. Shashank attempting a two. Sejin is there to pick up the rebound. Kicks it out to Sunil Ratti. Sunil back out to Martinez. Martinez for a two. Unable to finish it. Sunil Ratti with the rebound of his own. And that was Anil trying to stop him. But finds himself beaten. But Martinez is there to pick it up and put it back inside. And add another point to the tally. It's a four-point ball game. And they're trailing. The heroes are trailing. Machas. Rai taking it off the glass, making the shot. Another opportunity for the Bangalore Machas to take it away. All Rai needs to do is sink these two and take this game away from the heroes and ensure that they secure their place in the final. The Gurugram Masters await them in the final. They've already played the Gurugram Masters earlier and lost the battle. But this is another chance at redemption if they're able to close this out. Not right now because he has one more opportunity. And uh, it's going to take a little longer if the Machas have to ice this game and take it to the finals. And misses the second opportunity as well. Himanshu quickly strips the ball away from Rati. Himanshu. Quick moves there. Invaluable presence on the floor. Very effective for the Machas. Shashank Rai forcing a shot there. A floater. Martinez kicks it out to Rati. Rati with the two of his own. And in return, Himanshu Singh for Bangalore Machas. 21 to 17. They have secured their place in the finals and will be playing Gurugram Masters. In the final, Bangalore Machas, what a performance by Himanshu Singh. Phenomenal. My apologies, is Himanshu Sharma. Superb innings by him. Arvind Armugam, Shashank Rai and Anil. A great unit. They have played together. You can see the exhaustion on their faces. The Gurugram Masters await them eagerly. And in the round one final that's about to begin in a short while, we will see both these teams battle it out for the round one champion. So you can see the highlights here. Arvind Armugam, Carlos Martinez with a hook. Following it, following it up with a free throw. Anil with a fadeaway. A baby hook by Arvind. A free throw there. Himanshu with behind the back pass to Arvind. Finding the open man in him who lays it off the glass and secures that point. Wrap around layup there by Arvind. Shashank making that free throw. Himanshu off the glass. Offensively and defensively, this young man has proved invaluable for his team. Anil making those free throws when it was needed the most. Martinez, Shashank Rai missing those free throws, but we've finished with the two semi finals for the day and we have got our two. Finalists, I'm going to tell you who they are, but before that, from the second semi final, the winning team, I have Anil Kumar from Bangalore Machas. Anil, first of all, congratulations. How do you be, feel be, being back on the court, playing a semi final, and entering the semi final after two years you're playing? Yeah, it was a COVID, it was a very critical condition, and coming to Firefox, this 3 3 is very fastest game, and semi finals is very excited to play against Mumbai heroes, but uh, first two matches was a uh, little bit confused, and uh, this back was bounced back was very well. How do you feel being a part of this uh, league, especially being 3BL and playing with so many experienced players? How is your team coping up with it and your experience so far? 
Yeah, definitely is a 3x first professional basketball league and uh, Indians are waiting for this league, definitely. And today we got it and definitely we played everyone. We will vote for the best for, for finals. You seem to be on fire. I'm not going to take much of your time because you've got a final coming up. So prep well. Congratulations and all the best. That was Anil Kumar from the second semi-finalist winning team, which means we have our two finalists. Coming up is a surprise for all our viewers. Stay tuned.